it's raining. It's so windy now. I'm so glad we got here when we did because we were able to explore before it started to rain. Okay, this beach, we drove up on the beach and now it's like super windy. So it looks like a desert. Like the, the, the sand is like flying across the beach. It's really like, it's unique, no? And originally we were going to go to a temple here. I think it's called Musendan, Musendan Temple or something like that. And then it's closed. It doesn't open till 10. So we drove down to this beach. I think it's been... Benon? Ben 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 Nobody was here, so we hesitated because we saw the tire tracks on the beach and I'm so glad that we came. I don't know, I didn't even know this existed <laughs> yeah. here. If you follow us on Snapchat, you would have known. Last night we stayed in London, uh, Londonderry. Or Derry, I think. It's in Northern Ireland, so different countries, part of the UK. It was a little different. It was like our first experience in a bigger city in Ireland. Yeah, and uh, now we realize like we've missed a lot of the cities, but we're showing you the coast. The coast, yeah. And we are going to show you Northern Ireland today and hopefully meet a viewer tonight. Maybe they'll cook us dinner. Maybe they'll let us shower. That'd be we good. We also had to clean our shoes. Our boots are full of mud. Oh, from the last Cliffs of Moor, I destroyed our shoes. Destroyed. But anyway, it should be a good day. Hopefully it clears up a bit. Let's go. So I'm pretty careful with the drone. You know, ever since we lost our first one, I've been like super careful. Felicia, she is our spotter. She spots and she watches it and I watch with the remote. You know, and we couldn't even fly it at the Cliffs of Moher the other day because they're so windy. Uh, it was just way too windy. Today, it's not that windy, so we decided to take it up. I said, eh, let's take it up, let's put it in the air uh, and see what happens. So I went over the beach, uh, over the water, and I took it up in the air, getting a nice view of the, the landscape and stuff like that. And then I said, okay, it's time to go. I'll bring it back in. When I started bringing it in, it was actually moving backwards and and I'm, I was getting scared like it was, the distance was getting higher and higher but I was going full speed back to where I was and the wind was so powerful up top that it was taking the drone away and I got so scared I knocked on the window and I fell, fell, we're losing the drone. I've never seen that look on his face before, it was scary. I was, I was like actually scared, I thought I was losing it. So what I did for future reference to anyone that has a drone is I brought it down to the water level and I guess it's not as windy at water level then I brought it in and then over oh man that was really freaky we've been having experienced a lot of bad wind lately but actually on the radio just now they said there's going to be a hurricane in Ireland on Monday or like the remnants of a hurricane on Monday here and we and and we're leaving on Tuesday we have a flight out of here at 8 a.m. on Tuesday we don't know what's gonna happen uh, so like the wind is already starting to come in. Like you feel it, it's windy here. Okay, we were driving to our, our next spot, this castle we're going to, and we were driving through this town. What's this town called, Phil? Port Rush. Okay, it's called Port Rush, and it's like a little cute town. Maybe it's like a, it's like a summer, summer city, right? Yeah, it looks like it's like where people come to vacation and there's a beach and- There's people <laughs> swimming right now, like, 10, 10 people. Like it's cold today. Yeah, but why did we stop? Okay, but we stopped because we saw, we were driving down the streets of like the main town and I saw two huge amusement centers, like games and like throwing things and I'm like, Val, we gotta stop. The kid she's like, him. She's like, mm, no, Val, we gotta stop. Now who wouldn't want to go to the big red game center? <laughs> oh, Val, she doesn't want to. So we kind of made a mistake when we got to Northern Ireland. I didn't even think about this, felt new. But you, you don't use euros in Northern Ireland because it's part of the UK. So we got here and we're like, oh, okay, it's pounds. It's UK, it's, it's the pound. So we'll just go, I had like a couple hundred dollars in Canadian. I'm like, oh, I'll go change that. We'll use that when, because we're going to go to the uh, London area, Manchester next. But what we found out after changing the money is that they don't accept it in like the main UK area. So now we're stuck with all this uh, Northern Ireland money. It's weird because all the bills they gave us are different. It's like Bank of Ireland, Northern Bank, and then this one is like Ulster Bank. It was very confusing. We made it to Dunless. 
Castle. I, I don't think I'm pronouncing it right. But right now we're driving the Causeway Coastal Route. And here on the map they show you like from start to finish all the stops along the way, which is pretty neat. You have to pay to get in the castle, but I feel like if we walk this way, maybe we don't have to pay. So we're gonna see. So guys, parking here was like 18 or something dollars per person and we're like, no way are we doing that. So we actually found the best parking shot, spot, parking spot. We'll show you guys after this. It's so, it's, it's genius. Giants Causeway. We're just about to leave, and two people recognize us. It was so crazy. Hello. Hello. Hi. Mariana and, and Damien. Damien. And Damien. Yeah. Who have been watching our videos for over a year, and they're here at the same spot. How, and, uh, how much of a coincidence is that? And they actually parked in front of our van. <laughs> that was so crazy. So normally it's ten pounds each to park there. Uh, because it's the only parking and so that's like for us that's $36 Canadian so we're like meh I don't know if we have the budget for that so we talked to a local and she said on this road if there's no double yellow lines just park on the road on the side of the road I'm like well aren't we gonna block the lane she's like it doesn't matter she's like, people do it all the time I don't know if you're allowed to do it but she said to do it everyone does it so we did it <laughs> and we got a free spot save $36 it's awesome and actually we were the first ones to do it and our viewer this is the guys we met at in the over there this is their car so they saw ours and then parked beside it one of the benefits of actually paying is that you get the audio guide and I think options for free tours but we didn't do that so we didn't actually know what we were seeing I've Wikipedia it now and there are rock formations uh, 40,000 of them and they're the result of an ancient volcanic eruption but there's a bunch of Irish legends and myths about the fact that a giant named Finn McCool built them. I don't know, there's lots of different myths and legends of the countries that we don't know yet, but just to share, they're rocks from a volcanic eruption. We are here at the Karukareed Bridge, which is one of the stops on the coastal route. And we came to do the free trail. There's a free trail that you can do here to check out the rope bridge. And apparently the rope bridge was built years, 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 and years and years ago because the fishermen would have to go to the island to check on their salmon nets. So that was pretty cool. And if you want to cross, it's like seven pounds. So that's like, I don't know, 12, 15 dollars maybe. But the free trail is really cool. So beautiful on the coast. Okay guys, now we have been invited to go have dinner at one of our viewers' houses near Belfast. His wife is gonna cook for us. I say this all the time, but this is my favorite part and I feel bad because there were some people who messaged us and uh, Kiri on Snapchat. We didn't get a chance to see her Dom vlogs. We hope we'll meet you again. And so hopefully our paths will cross with many of you guys in the future. And sorry if we didn't meet you this time, but thank you. What about Agatha? Oh, and Agatha. I think Agatha is Kiri though on Snapchat. Oh, really? I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good people. 